This video will discuss uh, how you can set up a trusted location for your Excel files that have macros so that you don't have to constantly enable the macro files. Um, essentially what Excel wants to do is warn you if an if a Excel file has a macro so that you don't run a dangerous macro and hose up your computer. So I'm going to go into the uh, office menu. Actually, it's on my screen here. You'll notice it's called the file menu, but uh, in the older Excel 2007, it's called the office menu. And I'm going to go down to options. And the options is available, of course, in 2007 also. You open up the office menu, and it's down near the near the exit. So you'll notice here under options, there, there are quite a few options. And one of them is the trust center. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Trust Center, and and in the Trust Center, you'll notice all kinds of options here for privacy and you name it and so on. Um, over on the right here, you notice there's a button that says Trust Center Settings, so I'm going to click on that. And opening up the Trust Center Settings, then you'll notice that there's an option here that says Trusted Locations. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Trusted Locations. And in trusted locations, there are lots of places where you can set locations, but uh, you know, normally you'd probably do it in your My Documents folder. But down here, there is an option that says Add New Location. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when you don't have a trusted location. I think most of you probably already know this, but I'm going to cancel out of here and cancel. And I've got a macro in this workbook here, so I'm going to I'm going to save this macro enabled workbook. Uh, into a location just on my desktop so that uh, so I can show you exactly how this kind of strangeness takes place. So I'm going to save it here into my temp junk folder and so there's my macro enabled workbook and I'll hit save and then I'm going to close that workbook and so I've got nothing here and uh, now I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to open uh, uh, my workbook here. Now let's see what's going on here. I've got the uh, VBA window open. I don't want to have the VBA window open. Let me close that. So I, I go here and I say open and I'm going to open my uh, my workbook that I just saved to the desktop. So let's go see if we can find that. It's in temp junk and there's range of cells. So I open that and you get the security warning and it says macros have been disabled and you have to say enable content. And if you forget to do this then you lose your macro. So I'll click Enable Content. All right, so that's what that's all about. Now let me go back into the uh, settings. So I'm going to go to Options. And I'm going to go to Trust Center. I'm going to go to Trust Center Settings. And I'm going to add a new location. So I'll say Add New Location. And it says, OK, where do you want to browse? And I'm going to browse to my location. And that location was on the desktop. And it was this temp junk folder. So I'm going to set that temp junk folder. I'll say OK. And there's an option here if you want to set subfolders in case you want to organize all your work in this particular folder. So I'll go ahead and click that subfolders also are trusted. And I'll click OK. And now it's added that temp junk folder to my trusted location. So I'm going to click OK. And I'll click OK. And now let's try it one more time. So I'm going to close this uh, macro file I've got open here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that back up. And I'll go to Temp Junk. And there's my ranges and cells. And I'll open that. And notice I got no prompt. It didn't tell me that this is a macro. And therefore, you had to enable the content and yada, yada, yada. So this is a lot more convenient. And I would encourage you maybe to set up a trusted folder for where you're putting all your macros. Now, you don't want to trust your whole hard drive because, you know, you may download a macro enabled Excel file someday that's got a really nasty macro in it, and you just don't really want to trust all macros that might come along. So I'd certainly encourage you to do this for your macros folder. It makes life a lot easier. Thanks.